New York City, we have Coach Ernesto, Coach Robin. It's always a pleasure to have you over here in New York. How are you guys feeling? Feeling great. Feeling good. Glad to be back in New York. Had two guys uh, fighting on the card. They both came up with uh, wins. So God is good. He blessed us with two wins. And we look forward to uh, coming back and just keep moving forward and, and to two of another champion. Definitely, they, I said this, this athletes that, you know, they are in your hands because you guys are the ones that putting in knowledge and, you know, fixing adjustments and everything. These, you know, athletes, they are, they are the, you know, prospect and future champions. And, you know, that one day we're going to, you know, see with the bells and everything. But in the meantime, you know, I know you guys keep, you know, working and putting work on, you know, both of them. And, you know, what can I say? Congrats, you know, because... And it takes more than, you know, it takes more, but it needs, you know, people like you with the knowledge, you know, the bench. Yeah, mentoring the guys and just teaching them more about it, just boxing, just overall way of life, of, uh, you know, living a healthy life, a productive life, being good citizens, you know, being good fathers, sons, role models to their peers and other people in, in, the, in the gym. And that's something that we, we want to instill in all the fighters and, you know, try to keep away negativity and bad habits that actually uh, is one of the biggest downfalls that a young fighter get caught up in a lifestyle that just destroys them. So we just want to try to just lead by example and just, you know, be the best we can be. I mean, I'm not, I'm not a drinker. Billy's not a drinker. I'm not a smoker. Billy's not a smoker. You know, we could, we could speak from our experience. Uh, experience, we, yeah. We lead by example. Exactly. Amen. And, and I say, you know, like, you know, good people, role models, you know, like, an example, you coaches, you know, it's, it's a great thing that we could, you know, put it out there and, and show the world that, you know, we could we could keep this um, sport clean and, 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 you know, it's it's all about, you know, who, who compete, you know, and, and keep it, you know, with respect, because we have to have respect for the, you know, whoever loses a fight, whoever wins, you know, hey, this is a sport, but... There's a, you know, this icon that is not a secret, you know, the Mexican icon, Canelo Alvarez. A lot of people, you know, they, they've been pointing at him like they want him to fight. And from your side, we have Jared Hurd. What can you say, you know, when we could have this, you know, future fight? Um, if that fight was to happen, it would probably be at 160 pounds. Um, and Swift will have to move up. Um, hopefully, um, that fight could happen. But um, based on the, um, I guess, conflict between the management teams. On networks? Um, yeah, and that's probably why a lot of these fights don't happen. But um, hopefully one day, that particular fight will happen. Yeah, I think it'll be a great fight. It will be a great fight. A lot of, like I said, there's, you know, in the contract of Canelo, there are 11 fights. Let's deduct it, you know, two fights, Rocky Fielding. Now, sooner we're going to see um, Danny Jacobs. Exactly. And, you know, I think Danny Jacobs has tools, you know, in order that he could make difficult a fight for Canelo. I don't know if he, he can defeat him, but... I, it, that would be a, a very interesting fight. Yeah, and, and you're absolutely right. He do have the tools that it take to... Um, definitely beat Canelo. Would he be able to do it? Yeah, I don't know, but that would be a very intriguing fight. Um, it definitely won't be an easy fight for Canelo. In my personal opinion, I don't think it will be, but it would definitely be a very intriguing fight. I'm looking forward to seeing it. Canelo Alvarez. Canelo Alvarez and Danny Jacobs, you know, in the contract it's 11 fights. Let's deduct it, you know, two fights. Rocky Fielding now, Jacobs. Is Jacobs the man that he could bring, you know, a defeat in Canelo's career? Or? He could be, but I don't think so. I think the youth of Canelo Alvarez, uh, uh, you know, the uh, versus, you know, he's so versatile. He can box, he can, he can punch, he can walk you down. I would like to see uh, Jacobs win. I would like to see him win. But I lean a little bit towards uh, Canelo Alvarez, youth. Youth is prime. He's right now at the best. You know, he's making the money. It's gonna take a lot to win. You know, uh, it's gonna take another young, strong fighter like himself. 
Yeah. A guy like Jared Hurd. Jared Hurd. You know, to to be able to to compete. I, I know that Canelo is a little bit more sharper, more experienced. But like I say, a young, strong fighter who can box and punch just like him. So, you know, but uh, Danny Jackets, I think the age, I think the youth is going to catch up with him. Nothing. This fight, you know, is gonna. Um, we're gonna see, you know, what Danny Jacobs will bring at the table against Canelo. But eventually, there are some, you know, fight fighters that they targeting Canelo. They wanna, you know, fight him now. And you know, th there's, you know, Charlo, one of the Charlo's brothers, the 160. Mm -hmm. And eventually, you know, it, people want to see also, you know, Jerry Hurd, a lot of, you know, medias, a lot of people they've been mentioning, you know, Jerry Hurd can fight Canelo. So, and I think it would be great for for the sport. So, networks, I don't know. Hey, it's a lot of, it's a lot of possibilities right now. Canelo is the man. He's, uh, he's the man that he beat. He's the man with the money. So, whoever fights him is going to make over 10 to 15 million dollars right now. Yeah, hey. Right now, he's probably the biggest draw in Boston right now. So, yeah. And I think that recently, can, um, Oscar and, you know, Golden Boy promotion, they posted something that he's the, the most athlete, you know, getting paid, like, yeah. on the top of all the sports, like yeah, baseball, basketball. Yeah. So, I think he worked harder and he deserved that. So, and, and I think that's one of the reasons that, you know, Fighters, they're pointing at, at Canelo, like targeting that they want him, you know, to fight. And and I think hopefully this fight happens, you know, because hopefully the networks don't make it too difficult to give it to the fight fans, you know. I think they're working out. I mean, eventually, when there's money, when there's so much money in a fight of that magnitude, eventually they'll work it out. Yes.